It's Maui Blues time. It's in my, my garden here on Maui. It's a beautiful morning. And uh, I promised you guys an in-depth lesson on open G tuning um, with regards to the blues style on it. You know, you, you hear a lot of like, you know, lead belly and some of the old early blues guys before the blues got urbanized, you know, before I went to the big city and, you know, Buddy Guy and BB King and Muddy Waters and all that. First, there was uh, more of an acoustic blues sound, and I think a, a G tuning is is really a cool way to approach that. So G tuning sounds like this. You all heard that before, right? And um, it's also called slack key tuning in other in this world over here in Hawaii. But that doesn't matter whether it's Sebastopol tuning, open G tuning, slack key tuning. Keith Richards tuning, Ry Cooter tuning, everybody use it. It's a great sound and it's full. This particular guitar is a Steve Grimes, check it out. It's a Keola Beamer model and it's just wicked. Um, the thing is, a can it's like a cannon. You know, really, I don't know if you get it here, but it really sends the sound out of these two holes. But um, I've had a lot, of, a lot of requests for this guitar and then also for G tuning. So here we go. So let's go on a little exploratory, shall we? Um, you know, you got your open G chord, D, G, D, G, B, D, and that's a full sound, right? And sometimes uh, you might want to lead with the G note on the A string, because that's your that's your root, right? So don't always want to lead with that D, because that's, that's the five. So that does come in handy later, of course, but in the meantime, I, I tend to, you know, use this as a, as a kind of a platform to get going on. I'll get my thumb in there and do that. And now sometimes I'll do this. That's a really super simple way to start. If you're uh, just getting going on guitar, Open G is a great way to expand your, your vibe and, you know, accompany yourself with a really full sound. So all I'm doing is just doing my first or second finger, take your choice on the second fret of the D string, and just bounce it. Get your thumb going or your pick. That's your you know comfort zone, whatever works for you. And so that's one way to get um, to get a groove going. And then if you want to strum it big, you can. But you might want to make sure you do a little muting in between. Like check it out. That's cool, but if I mute it, a little more staccato sound, right? Same thing up here on the five fret. Just do that third finger on the seventh fret of the D string. Same move, right? Cool. Back to the one. All you're doing is just really basic, and now you go all the way up to your seventh fret, and you can hit that low D if you want. It's a luxury, right? Super full for an acoustic guitar. Then drop down two frets to your fifth fret. Same move. And you go, I tend to not go to the five. Some people go, I, I don't know. I, I tend to avoid that if I can. Certain songs, it's cool. Like if you're doing Jimmy Reed and you want to do, uh, that's fine. Like own it but in general I don't always go to the five chord to resolve I just hang start over again so there and uh, so yeah um, as far as uh, open G tuning where you can go with it is endless but I can give you an example of a lot of cool songs that we've heard wild horses is one of them you've heard that chord it's like an a minor with a G in the bass and if you move up to you got a B minor G in the bass. Very lyrical. It's, it's not so much bluesy like we're doing today, but it's something I wanted to show you. Just take an A minor and just move it up to. And if you want to do a 
a C chord, you can do a version of C just by doing that A minor seventh form. It'll take you to a four, which is lots of ways to do the four. And back to the one. So that's a, a little roundabout way of saying vocabulary wise, you can, you can do some cool stuff just by experimenting and making different chord shapes. Experiment, try different chord shapes, you know, a, it's going to sound different. Where's the Keith sound? So we all know by now, most of us know by now, if you've been following me, that the whole Keith Richards sound is, is based on that G tuning. I can do a million songs, you know. A million songs that Keith used that for. But we're going to... You know, in, in the context of the blues, um, I want to show you just a few more moves while I'm here. Um, so we've got this sort of, this thing here, right? Now, if you go up uh, uh, a half step with that, you can get this sound. Which is, you know, like a rock and roll blues thing. That's cool. You know, you can do it as simple as add that depending on what you want that's a little more of a rock sound but that's fine you know all is fair in blues I'll tell you that because the blues had a baby and they called it rock and roll so we're gonna adhere to that you know axiom I guess you can bend that a string on the third fret That's a hard one to do on uh, an acoustic guitar with heavy strings, so Keith does it in electric. Bends it a little bit, but um, I don't want to get too off the off the subject of the blues, so what I want to do is uh, take you from a walk down, if you hit that low D that I showed you, or back down to the fifth fret, and then here I just hit the, the root chord, the, the G. And we'll do a little blues walk down, which I think is handy. You do the second uh, finger, third fret of the D, third finger, third fret of the B string. You can include all those strings if you want, but it'll work. And you can let it ring out as you walk down chromatically, half step. Sounds a little dissonant, but it's cool. And then another half step. And then open. Here's what it sounds like in context. And if you want to go to the D, you can. Just bend in that second fret of the low E string. That leads you to that D7. Or... And then I wanted to say uh, one other chord that's handy is a G7th. So. If you got, remember that your your E string, your high E is down a whole step. So if you want to hit an actual G, it's there. So it's moved up to that fifth fret instead of the third, okay? Normally you hit a G like that. But now that becomes a G7 because it's a seven of G. There's a seven. So there's a, there's a little vocabulary, you know, item for you. If you want to hit a G7 chord, which you may want to hit, especially if you're signaling a four chord or you're ending it. So if it was going to end the song, I could go. You know, it kind of says it's over, or at least this part's over. So this, this causes tension and, and a release. And then it says probably the end of it, okay? So that, now I've given you a couple different moves. I gave you the, this move. Then I have you move up half step. So you can experiment with that. Same thing on the four chord. Then you can back to the one. Here you can experiment, you can mess around. And then you can do that all important low D fat sound on your seventh fret for your five chord. And then your four chord, which is of course the fifth fret. Use any of those three moves I showed you. 
I showed you this. Or the old Keith move. And then back to your one. And then do that little turnaround. So you see what I did there? I, I bent the third fret of the A string. I bent it. I'm a big fan of, uh, you know, little bends and things to sort of punctuate where you're going in the song or in the piece or in the vibe, you know, just kind of, and it's like this says, it says, good night, night Irene, that's it, that's it, you're done. So one, time, one more time, I'm just going to play through this whole thing that I just showed you, all those little moves I showed you. So you have something to, to work with and maybe you can watch this over and over and see, because I'm going to do something different every time, okay, I'm, a, I'm just one of those guys, I don't do it the same every time, but that's the nature of the blues anyway. So here we go. Let's see what happens. So there's a little dive into uh, what you can do with open G tuning. Uh, there's many, many things you can do with it besides just the bluesy stuff. But I wanted to do a little Maui morning blues for you because it's such a great day and feeling pretty good. Good to be back in the saddle again out here. So uh, come and visit me at jamiedillon.com. I got a bunch of new stuff coming up. I got a little mentorship program. Yeah, just love sharing with you guys and I love hearing from you. So. Hit me up, uh, send me a comment, maybe a request, anything you want to want to do, and we'll see you down the road. Mm -hmm.